In this example, we want the uh, we want to write the formula for a function uh, whose graph can be used to solve an inequality. Uh, in this case, uh, the inequality is 3x squared minus 5x greater than or equal to 2. So this is very similar to um, writing the formula for a function um, whose graph can be used to solve an equation. Uh, what we need to do is to make one side of the inequality zero, and then the non-zero side of the inequality, that expression, uh, will be the formula uh, for the function that we're looking for. Uh, so in this case, uh, to make one side of this inequality zero, uh, I'm going to make the right-hand side zero, and so all we have to do is uh, subtract two from both sides of the inequality. So we get uh, 3x squared uh, minus 5x uh, minus 2 uh, greater than or equal to 0. And this inequality is equivalent to the original inequality. That is, uh, it has the same set of solutions. And uh, once we've got the inequality, uh, one side of the inequality uh, set to 0, uh, then again, the expression on the non-zero side of the inequality, that's the formula for the function uh, whose graph we can use to solve. Uh, the inequality. So um, I'm going to call this function g in this case. So um, I claim uh, that the graph of the function uh, g of x equal 3x squared uh, minus 5x minus 2, the graph of that function uh, can be used to solve or at least estimate uh, the solutions to uh, the inequality uh, 3x squared minus 5x minus 2 greater than or equal to 0, which is equivalent to uh, our original inequality, 3x squared minus 5x uh, greater than or equal to 2. So it's uh, the graph of this function uh, that can be used to solve um, the inequality uh, that we want to solve here.